What's up guys? So I'm just making this video because to this day, I am sick and tired of having this, you know, hate directed at me from this YouTuber called Penguins, Penguin Zero or Critical. I just received this email and I'm gonna read it to you. Next video, you should show the evidence with the police records from your I almost died last night video. I bet this incident didn't even show up on the news, which proves a point on how fucking fake this is. Because it's not on the news, it's fake, okay. Everything you do is for f clickbait and it shows how disgusting of a person you are. There would be forensic evidence on all those objects that they threaten you with because the police would have found fingerprints. Yeah, bro. There's f there's forensic evidence on them, I know. I love how you showed how you bled because if you bled that much, you would have wounds on your face. Doesn't look puffy or... S bro, my, f my whole entire face was demolished bro you should look at penguins two videos about you i'm a fan of him because he actually makes good content unlike people like you like yeah like showing big giant dildos all over youtube is is just great great content he specifically mentions youtuber lies about being beaten and robbed before he closes it off with i really hope you go fuck yourself because you're a horrible person. Now, what is he talking about? YouTuber lies about being beaten and robbed. All right, let's type that in. Oh, YouTuber lies about being beaten and robbed by penguins. 6.1 million views telling everybody, I lied about being beaten and robbed. You're saying it like it's a fact, bro. It's not a fact. You know, at least, at least, when this YouTuber called Muda from some ordinary gamers, you know, at least when he calls me out for faking my girlfriend's death, he actually called the police and asked them, okay? So when he goes ahead and says, yo, it's fake, I lied, at least he researched it. It's pretty funny how he can just go and make a statement like, YouTuber lies about being beaten and robbed like it's a 100% fact, bro. When in fact, you lied about me lying. Where did you get this information that I lied? Okay, where? Before I watch this horrible video and react to all the lies and BS inside of it, if I was a female and I said, you know, I got raped or something horrible like that, imagine how it would feel if you got a YouTuber, a huge YouTuber, make six million views on saying you completely lied about it. Having six million people go and comment on all your videos, calling you a scumbag, for lying about something I didn't lie about, okay? This, this was the most traumatic thing that's ever happened in my life, man. I still, if I just hear a noise, to this day, I get scared, bro. I, I think people are gonna come in my freaking house and kill me, man. Do you, know, do you understand the mental consequences of having something like this happen to you, bro? And every single time I read one of these comments, I think about Penguin's video. They're almost all coming from Penguin's video, saying I faked my robbery, bro. What other video is there? He's, it's the top one. Watch, I'm gonna just type it in first. J Station robbery. Let's see what happens. Oh, look, it's all Penguins. Penguins, Penguins, Penguins. Saying it was fake and it's not fake. It's not fake. Okay, but well, how about YouTuber allegedly lies about being beaten and robbed or YouTuber robbed, but I think it's fake instead of just putting out a statement about it like it's 100% real like that. Okay, let's watch this horrible video. Today I was going through some shitty YouTube content as I like to do and I decided to check in on a classic. Our old friend, I'm J Station. You remember this guy for making these awful 3am videos, he's just a pathetic worm of a person really. And you'll also remember him from when he got arrested at Disney World and threatened all the security guards by taking them to jail saying how powerful he is and then making a huge mistake, making it seem like they just fucking caught Cobra Commander when really all they caught was a limp dicked shitty YouTuber. But anyway, he's still making 3am content, it's still all bad, but something caught my eye. He posted this video saying he almost died last night, so that really piqued my interest and I clicked on it. And it's, I can say with nearly 100% certainty, it's completely fake and he made it all up. Within the first five seconds of the video, he goes on and calls me a pathetic 
worm or or something like that just got to set the tone off okay but anyways there you go he could without even looking at the video he just says i can guarantee this thing is almost 100 percent certain to be fake before he even watched it all right let's keep going but he doesn't frame it that way he frames it as a real thing and the comments are 38,000 strong all saying how sorry they are for him wishing him the best his views exploded this is something he clearly has a problem with okay <laughs> you know the 38 he has 38,000 people feeling sorry for him oh my god that's so bad bro i got my house robbed i almost died what's the problem what's the problem no you got a problem with that why why do you got a problem with that and it's all just completely fake I was editing my- It's all just completely fake. There you go. Listen, man, you can't make these kind of statements, man. You can't make that statement, bro. You can't go ahead and just say it's fake and it's not fake. It's not fake. A video for you guys. Look at me. How was that excited. fake? How was that fake, man? Look at my face. Look at my face right there, bro. Tell me that's fake. Oh my God, bro. My lips are blue. My eye. Look at my eye dudes in mask run up in my house with ski mask on start beating me senseless bro choke holding me i was going in and out of consciousness there was blood everywhere they say where's the money where's the money where's the money where's the rolex so that's the story in a nutshell he says he was attacked by men wearing masks asking him where the money and rolex were sounds straight out of the big lebowski in fact i'm pretty sure that's where he drew the inspiration and then he takes us on a walkthrough of what exactly happened throughout his house he says he filmed this right after being released from the hospital me like crazy guys and uh i did record everything that happened when i first got back from the hospital last night hope you guys enjoy it smash like What's popping, guys? Back with another Look at me. Look at me. Look at my face, bro. You tell me. That's makeup? That's makeup. Because all of my videos for the next two weeks, I had to wear glasses to cover up this, and my face was all messed up. Most traumatic thing, man. I was sleeping in my car after this. I was too afraid to go inside of my house. Okay? Every single time I heard my, my house make a creaking noise, I thought these people were going to come in my house again and kill me, man. And he's over here saying it's fake. I'm a scumbag. And he's, it's the most traumatic thing that's ever happened to me. And then this guy is having people call me all sorts of crazy stuff, making it even worse. I'm getting attacked by like 6 million people. If he understood really what he, what he, the mental, pain he caused me for lack of words during this whole thing he would truly be ashamed i know that for a fact let's go anger video your boy got fucked up yo people just ran in my house and look messed at me, me up, man like super bad yo no lie guys it's not makeup it's not makeup you repeating multiple times that it's not makeup just makes me believe that it is makeup ski masks and shit because they pussies I'm in here. Look at this, man. Filth on the floor. So now what you're about to see is the fanfic J Station is conjured up for this. I don't know if it really is makeup on his face or if it did get fucked up, but I can assure you it's not from whatever kind of story he's peddling with this. He probably fucked it up doing a really lame stunt for one of his shitty videos. Just look at these footprints here. Okay, what kind of stunt did I do for my videos, bro? I do videos with the Teletubbies. I do videos in Slenderman's forest. I do videos summoning ghosts. When did I ever make a video with my face completely demolished, my house covered in blood, so that he would think that this was fake? What is his problem? Again, here he goes telling everybody that it's a completely made up story. Okay, let's hear what he has to say. That he uses as evidence, this looks like some shit out of Scooby-Doo, when the mystery gang is following an obvious trail. What kind of dirt do you have outside your house, Jay Station? To leave it's a brand new house, bro. I didn't even have grass in my freaking house, dude. All right, and these people were caught on videotape coming in through my backyard. There is no grass. It's just mud and, and dirt, bro. It's just mud and dirt. They snuck on through the back, went to the front of my house, came in, bro, and they had mud all over their shoes. 
How is that so hard to believe? That they ran in my house and left dirt there. You're saying the dirt is fake? Bro. Lead to these kind of tracks. Do you have just like wet cement outside? How the fuck could they have this many visible tracks that all of a sudden stop after the first room? You'll find the- How is that? How did they stop? There's a carpet right there where you can't see the tracks anymore. How is it so hard to believe that three guys come into my house and there's footprints uh, everywhere? I'm in a brand new subdivision. Look, I'm gonna show you guys right now. This is about a month before this happened, okay? Look at the backyard here. L let me fast forward. All right, this is the side of my house. No grass. Look at that. Look, completely. If this thing rains, bro, you're gonna have footprints. Look at the color of that. Now look at the color inside of my house, bro. This is the same. Like, how is this guy even saying? He knows nothing about what he's talking about. He's saying it's a completely fake, sending thousands and thousands of crazy messages when I'm already at my mental lowest I've ever been in my freaking life. And to this day, I have people saying that it's fake, man, because of this guy who couldn't pick up the phone, call the robbery unit and ask about it like Muda did when I faked my girlfriend's death. OK, I've done stunts on YouTube. It's always to do with paranormal stuff. I've never faked something like this. Just look at my face, man. You'll know something crazy just happened to me. I upload every day. All right. So let's keep on going. There's no more tracks throughout the rest of the house. So what happened there? Did all three of them just decide, hey, look, guys, we're going to beat the shit out of this guy, but let's not be disrespectful to the actual household. Let's take our shoes off here to stop getting all of this filth everywhere. Why would the track stop? This looks like J Station took one shoe, put a bunch of dirt on the bottom of it, and started slamming the ground to make it look like footprints. The, the, it didn't stop. <laughs> the footprints didn't stop. There's a big carpet over there, man. So I was editing my video on the couch over there. They came in. Look at the blood on Look, the, there's, blood there's on footprints wall. on the stairs. Blood all on my couch. Basically, uh, they come in the house. I was sitting here. They run up on me. They, uh, they just punch me in the face. They choke me out, push me against this wall. I struck. I got a hospital bracelet on right there. It's a hospital. This is what they do when you go to a hospital. They put the bracelet on you and everything. I go around. I end up on here. Footprints everywhere, bro. There's blood all up on here, here. They're beating the fuck out of me right there. Again, this whole room is just the only room that has any footprints in it throughout the rest of the tour he gives. I also find it really hard to- This is the only room, but the, by the entrance where they came in, there was footprints there too. There's footprints going up the stairs. There's footprints everywhere in the entire house, man. I believe that in one punch, they split his entire skull open to be getting blood everywhere. You can't believe that in one punch, they split my- No, bro. They went in the kitchen. They start- Okay, listen, I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. They came in my house. I thought it was a prank because I'm around a bunch of YouTubers that when three masked dudes just storm in my freaking house, my door flings open. There's guys with ski masks on coming through my house. They run to me, jump over my coffee table, knock me the fuck out, start beating me, bro. Beating me senseless, bro. I landed on the freaking ground. They went in my kitchen, start grabbing kitchen knives. They cut my head with a freaking knife. All right, they cut my head with a knife, man. Okay, holy God. I think I still have a scar from it, bro. I think you might be able to see it, I don't know. There's a scar somewhere right here, really. It's probably hard to see. Anyways, find it hard to believe that three dudes can come in there and make you bleed. <laughs> okay. All right. Did you see my face after, bro? They beat the shit out of me, man. And I went unconscious. On the floor. Right there. I'm getting choked out by one guy. Unable to move. They put me in some, like, MMA hold. I don't know MMA. While the other guy is punching my face repeatedly. Every punch, my vision goes more sparkly and more sparkly until I'm unconscious. It's crazy. I was scared as hell, man. Usually when you get punched once, your whole skin doesn't explode. It's not like hitting- I got punched a million times! How is this guy going to dissecting everything I'm saying right there, bro? Come on! Like I said, I make videos about Teletubbies, summoning Elmo, giant- Freaking teddy bear came to life, and now this, but you can't tell that this was real. Wow. A watermelon, unless he got jumped by three MMA fighters packing meat, laying down. I'm 100% sure the one guy knew MMA, 100% sure. He was putting me in some crazy next level holds. I didn't know what the hell was going on. 
fat hands, I doubt they split him open in the first one or two hits. I pray to God this guy never experiences what I went through, okay? Have, have you even been in a fight before? Penguins, have you ever gotten in a fight? All right? I've been in a fight where it was over in three, four punches and they're bloody. You just get punched in the wrong spot and it's gonna bleed. One punch. You might not even get punched, you just might hit your head on the floor and you might bleed. Holy. Eventually I went unconscious, tried to escape. I ran over here. Look at this, I'm running from my life to escape these people. There's blood all over my freaking couch. My couch. I run to the door here, but it's locked. So they grabbed me. That's when they grabbed me, right there. And I pulled, look, there's even blood on the handle right there. They fucked me up again. Start going unconscious and shit. Somehow Jay Station goes unconscious multiple times throughout this, like a thousand fucking times. It's like his defense mechanism, he just goes unconscious. Which just doesn't make any sense. You usually go unconscious one time and that's about it. Yeah, it only makes sense. People normally only go unconscious one time. How does that make sense, man? How does that make sense? People only normally go unconscious once. And then they can never go unconscious ever again. Bro, uh, did you not check anything when you're making this video, bro? This is shameful. This is shameful, man. This is, this is garbage. This is actually, the, I'm actually really upset right now making this video. I can't believe what he's saying. Okay, in the living room, they jumped over my coffee table, started beating me. The other guys put me in a chokehold, and I'm on the ground at this point, and the other guy's hitting me while the other guy is preventing me from blocking any punches, man, and I'm going unconscious and shit. Then the guy puts me face down on the floor, the guy who was holding me in like a MMA thing, and then they start ransacking my house. The other two guys start going through my kitchen. One guy runs upstairs. They're looking for the valuable items in my house. And the other guy has me face down. And I, are, I just woke up from going unconscious. And I'm like wiped, man. My energy is done. But after about like 10 or 15, maybe 30 seconds of just laying there on the floor, I caught my energy. And I noticed that the guy holding me down was talking to a guy up that was searching my upstairs. And he wasn't paying attention for a split second. So I crawl out underneath his legs and make a dash for that door right there on the back door. The one guy, he starts chasing me and he's like trying to grab my shirt and I go to open that door and it's locked. And since it was locked, I had no time to flick the little lock down to open it up because by that time, it, that one second of it being locked was enough for him to grab me. So he starts grabbing me and he puts me in another hold on the floor and the other two guys start coming down and they start fucking me up again on the floor. And I went unconscious again. How is that? What? Can, I can't go unconscious again because I went unconscious before? Bro, that's stupid. That's stupid. How are you going to go and say this to 6 million people? 6.3 million people, man. Ridiculous. I don't think if he went unconscious multiple times, they weren't beating his ass. They didn't just call a timeout like, hey guys, stop, stop, stop. We're not savages. He's unconscious. Stop beating him up. Let's wait for him to get up and then we can keep beating his ass. That doesn't make any sense. There's no way you went unconscious five or six times here and still kept getting opportunities to escape. They're fucking me up. Why here. not? They're holding a knife on me. Where's the knife? They were, anyway, they held a knife on me. Here's the knife. They held this shit on me. They said they're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. Where's the money? Where's the Rolex? You little bitch. You ain't deserve no fucking Rolex. And it was at this point I knew the video had to be fake. If I'm wrong, Jay Station, I'll issue an apology and give you like $10 or something. No, nah, bro. Listen, you're gonna give me an apology publicly on your YouTube channel, man. You made this on your YouTube channel. And the $10, man. Listen, I need way more than that. Way more than that. All right. Why at this point, though, did you decide it was fake? Then maybe, but I know I'm not. And I even asked a real police officer what would happen here. J Station's. Let's read this from Donut Operator, whoever that is. Hey, man, wanted to toss a quick question 
at you if you don't mind. Was watching some shitty YouTube content and a guy named I'm J Station claimed he was beaten in his home and shows the knife and sledgehammer they used. And I'm 100% sure it's fake. He's 100% sure. <laughs> okay. But I got curious. If that did happen, wouldn't the police have his whole house closed off? And the weapons taken in for testing or something? Then this guy says, it would for sure be in an evidence room somewhere if it was used in a home invasion, assault, and robbery. Well, guess what? It is in a freak. It is in an evidence room. It is in an evidence room. Bro, when the police released me, they just let me go back in the freaking house. Dude, it wasn't for like two days later where they came in to get evidence and stuff. I had my mom in there the next day cleaning and stuff. She asked the police. She's like, so can I clean? They say, go ahead. Then about a day later, they came in there and they took the chain. They took the sledgehammer. They took the knives. They took everything. They took the blood. They tried to get fingerprints and stuff. It wasn't for like two days later. I don't know why. Maybe it's a failure of my police service here. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but listen, this is 100% real. And those items are in a freaking evidence room somewhere right now. Said he contacted the police. Instead of, con but, but still, instead of contacting the actual police from Ottawa, the robbery unit, he goes and asks this guy named Donut Operator who has nothing to do with the case at all, <laughs> okay? Craziness, okay, let's keep watching. It's right after all this happened. And guys, let me, let me tell you this. They said to me, they yelled at me on the floor when I was chained up, they said, you call the police, we're gonna come back here and kill you. I went straight to the fucking police, bruh. The fuck am I supposed to do, man? And yet somehow he was able to leave the hospital and come back here, and his house is in the exact same condition he left it in. No crime scene, and the fucking weapons they allegedly used are still here, enough for him to play with it. So how the fuck does that make any sense? Those weapons would have been confiscated immediately, looking for prints or anything. I don't know, man. Maybe in a perfect world they would be confiscated immediately, but they didn't come for another two days. Two days! If you probably waited, I don't know when this ha I don't know how soon after I made my video, he made this one. But probably by the time he made this video, those knives were in the evidence already. And if he would have just done some research, he would have known that it's 100% real. And he even said he knows 100% sure it's fake. When it's 100% real, bro. There's no way small penis J Station, little baby wiener J Station could come back here and go through this fanfic shit. And it all sounds so unbelievably bad. So generically fake, like some really bad B and D action movie about revenge. There's no way this happened the way he said it does. There's no way it happened at all. I scrubbed through Canadian police reports filed from June 9th to June 12th. Canadian records because he's in Canada, he's not in the States. And there's nothing about a home invasion or assault or anything involving Jason last name. I'm not going to... All right, guys. So here he is with the small dick, whatever, it, making personal insults on me. Bro, this is not even... Like, how are you even gonna make insults like this, bro? That's even breaking the terms of service. That's called creator harassment. Six, uh, 6 6.3 million people. He's saying small dick. Imagine, bro, imagine. If it was some girl or something, got raped. And this guy goes around, yeah, this, uh... This small titted hoe is obviously lying. She's a fucking skank ass bitch and nobody would fuck her. That's basically what he's saying, bro. What are you talking about, penguins? And what kind of police reports did you scrub through, bro? Listen, they just don't put that stuff out there publicly in Canada, man. It's not just, it's not like a US or something like that. It's, it's completely different. I mean, it's not too hard to call up Ottawa police and say, hey, can I talk to the robbery unit? Uh, I was just curious if they're, uh, was a robbery with uh, Jason uh, between these dates. But no, that's because that's exactly what Muda did in a different situation. But no, Penguins just skimmed through some police reports that don't exist for public access like that. He's crazy, man. Drop his last name, but Jason E. I didn't even really fucking need to do that because it doesn't take an expert in deductive reasoning to conclude that something doesn't add up in Jason's story. Well, you're not an expert and you don't have reason <laughs> here. It makes no sense based on what he tells you and what he's showing you. It's just so goddamn silly and obviously fake. It sounds like a story your friend would have made up in middle school for- There you go again with the obvious- it's, it's fake. It's obviously fake. He's just saying it's fake, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake. When it's not. It's not. You're making up lies about me. You're causing people to hate. 
hate on me. Let's read some of these comments. Goes unconscious multiple times, remembers every little thing that happens detail for detail. All right, so I guess he thinks it's fake too. 33,000 33, other people think it's fake now. Isn't it illegal to fake an attack like this? 35K upvotes. Let's be honest, even if it was real, I still wouldn't feel bad. How funny would it be if someone actually assaulted him and knowing no one would believe him? Well, bro, it actually happened right here. Another guy thinking it's 100% fake. Every one of these people think it's fake because of what you said here, man. I even had to delete the video explaining it because there's so much hate on it, bro. Imagine. I'm just trying to think of like the most tragic thing that could ever possibly happen to you, penguins. Like uh, a family member dying or something like that. Now, what if a big YouTuber made up a, a video saying you faked it, bro? And that video that you're you're crying because your your loved one is dead. Imagine all the people saying, "Oh, bro, you're fake. You're a piece of shit." When it actually fucking happened, bro. Do you know what that does to your mental health? Like it wasn't bad enough me getting robbed, bro. Like this didn't really help anything. Hey, bro, I know who you are. Let me see, man. Okay, eventually, guys, they took me down in the basement. I'm gonna show you what, what's in the basement. All right, so I struggled there. They fucked me up on the floor for trying to escape. What do you mean you know who they are? Well, then case closed. Why don't you go get them? That should be pretty easy in that department. Then you just said you know who they were. But uh, this makes no sense. Apparently, the criminals know the layout of his home super well because they take him from there directly to his basement. So I guess they figured out exactly where his basement was. Granted, it's not the hardest thing to deduce, but it's still a bit of a stretch considering they apparently fucking bull charged their way through his front door right to his couch and then from his kitchen to his basement. I don't think they would have had time to notice where the basement was. Dude, how? <laughs> Bro, they, you're saying now because they took me to the basement, it was fake. Because they wouldn't have time to figure out where the basement is? Bro! <laughs> like, dude, you, uh, you understand, they were in my house for probably like 15 to 20 minutes, man. When they first punched me out, bro, well, the one guy was MMA and the other guy was punching me in the freaking face. And the other guy was walking around the house, dude, trying to find the cash and stuff, dude. I was on the ground fucked up for a while. This went on for a long time, bro, like a long time. It was like hell bro like it felt like eternity man how could they not find the basement like bro it's right next to the stairs you can see it as soon as you come in the freaking house they were walking around my house for a while trying to find the, the cash the rolex like what you're saying because they took me in the basement that's that's fact that 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 somehow proves that it's fake so they come look here, how could they not they see the basement? the basement it's right next to the front door a little blood more blood more blood here. There's blood everywhere, you dummy. They put me in here, guys. They tie me up with fucking chains. They put me here. They're taking pictures of me on their cell phone. Yeah. Of, of me get, of Bro, there's video. Somebody's got a video of this actually happening, bro. They, they whipped it out. I'm pretty sure they sent it on like Snapchat or something. They whipped it out. My buddy's hitting me. The other guy's choking me out. And the other guy has a fucking camera out recording it bro like that's fucking crazy dude that that video is really somebody's got it somebody definitely has this video anyways bro i'm getting chained up in my basement by these crazy motherfuckers dude like i thought i was gonna die bro and here you are like mocking this shit outrageous me all fucked up like this then i try to escape again so we end up over here before they before they like just start punching me again, holding me again. Bro, I'm still trying to run and I'm in the basement. I, I'm like, at this point, I'm like, dude, they're gonna kill me in the basement. Like I have to, like, even if, even if I'm gonna get fucked up, I have to try to get away, bro. Cause like, they're gonna kill me regardless. Like every time I got away, bro, you, under, you don't understand like, man, my adrenaline was insane. I went unconscious like twice before this, another time right there in the basement. So that's three times total. Man, my energy was like zero, bro. If I escaped, I, I'm trying to run away and I, I'm beat, I'm exhausted. And it, it's terrifying, terrifying. And you hear this guy is mocking, my, mocking this shit, saying it's fake and stuff for the most bullshit reasons. Like there's dirt on their shoes, so, that, so it's fake now. Or they, they know where my basement is, so it's fake. Because they would never be able to find out where the basement is. <laughs> And then they say, oh, yo, Snoop, because Snoop's upstairs looking around my house. Who the fuck is Snoop? Snoop, huh? You're making this entire fanfic and that's the coolest name you could think of on the spot? 
You're going through all this trouble for this whole theatrical performance here, and the best you could come up with on the spot was Snoop. That's what they called him, bro. What are you talking about? They grabbed a fucking sledgehammer. My head is right here. And I'm laying there. Snoop's with this sledgehammer. And he says, put your fucking nose on the fucking cement. Bro, I thought this buddy was gonna fucking slam this hammer. Right in my Crazy moment, face. bro. Yeah, that'd be the conclusion most people would draw with an order like that. This just doesn't add up, though. Where the fuck did they get the chains and the sledgehammer from? If you noticed, when he showed the basement, there is nothing in this basement at all, except for the chains and the sledgehammer. Did Jason just give them the tools to kill him? Did they bring- Oh my god, bro, this guy's actually, like, out of all the- Oh, I, I, I did so much freaking research, I went through all these police reports, I did all this research- No, it's from this video! You see the chains? You see the chains? Right, right there, there's the chains. Bro, I am a YouTuber, I do use chains. I had a chain in my freaking basement, bro. Okay, that's where they got the chain. They brought me into the basement, they saw chains, and they got the idea to tie me with it. No, I didn't give them the chains. No, they didn't bring in the chains. Where did they get all the knives? Where did they get the sledgehammer? Bro, I had a sledgehammer. Like, bro, clearly you've never been in a freaking robbery, bro. It's it's crazy, man. It's crazy. What kind of shit you're trying to say because they use chains, this is fake. No, bro. They brought me in the basement. They looked, oh, oh there's a chain. Now picture yourself as a robber. Well, we can tie him up. Let's use the chain. That's where they got the chain, bro. It was, in the, it was from this video. This zombie vampire potion. The way he says this shit is, is just insulting. It's ridiculous. I need that fucking apology, bro. I need to delete that video, too. Them? If they brought them, why didn't they leave with them? Why are they still there after the fact? It's an empty basement except for the chains and sledgehammer, the props he uses for this fucking fake performance. It just, it's so blatantly obvious and so low effort. I don't know why people aren't poking holes in it, but instead just blindly assuming it's real, even based on Jason's entire track record. Because it is real, bro. It is. And, and what you're doing right here is defamation, man. This is 100% defamation, bro. You use this. You use 6.3 million. How much money did you make off of fucking lying about me, man? Huh? And all of this hate you caused me on the most traumatic day of my fucking life. Still to this day, let's search through these comments by the newest. One minute ago, nine minutes ago, nine, the, the people are still, I still get fucking hate because of this fucking video. I still fucking get hate from this shit. Could have making everything fake. I said, take whatever you want, man. I don't got no money. Take my computers and shit. They took absolutely nothing from my house, man. They, they began to tie me up here in chains, and then they went upstairs. I took off my pants because it was all tied up. They had me locked up in here, and it was tied to my pants. So I took off my pants and I freed myself. I ran out here, out of this window, in my boxers. My keys were in the corner there because they flew out of my pocket when we were rolling around. I get in my freaking car with boxers, no shoes. Do you expect me to believe this Jack Bauer shit, this James Bond shit? Yeah. How does that make any goddamn sense? That's more like Austin Powers shit. They chained your pants to that post? Yeah. Why? What? So they didn't, they chained just your pants to that post? How the fuck does, how, how the fuck do you free yourself from chains to a post by taking your pants off? Dude, dude, he's going about this thing like, this is fake. I'm just gonna go with the, it's fake. I'm not gonna have an open mind like, it might be real. I'm just gonna say it's fake. So he's looking through every possible thing saying it's fake. And he's not, no open mindness to it being real at all. So, like, simple things are just not simple to him, bro. So, I, I'm going to explain it, okay? I'm going to debunk the whole fucking video. This is bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit, bro. Bullshit, man. I just fucking emailed this Florida defamation lawyer. Bro, listen, you're going to delete this fucking thing, man.
but I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you how. Listen, I'm, I was wearing these exact same pants. They put the chain through the belt loop all the way around, and then they wrapped me with it onto the pole. And then they locked it somewhere behind. So I'm like this. They got chain all around, and the chain is through my belt loop. Okay, so I'm trying to squeeze my way. I'm trying to like squeeze out of the chains, but the chain is in my pants. It's literally attached in my pants. So if I could squeeze out, I'm being held down because of my pants. So I remove my pants and I could squeeze out of the chain, bro. <laughs> like, why do I even have to explain it, bro? Why do I have to explain that shit? That's for real. It sounds stupid. Okay, it does, man. It sounds crazy because it was crazy. All right, I didn't make this up, bro. It happened, okay? Bro, I did, I, I took my pants off to get out. It sounds stupid, true, yeah, okay, cool. But that's what I fucking did, bro. I don't fucking know. Why would I say, why would I add in there that I had to take off my pants? Why wouldn't I just, if I was just making this up, why don't I just say I escaped the chains? No, I had to add in, I had to take off my pants to do it? That sounds pretty crazy. No, I said that because that's what happened. I don't. I can't even imagine how that works. Even if they did tie your pants to the chain post, you're still in the chains. Taking your pants off doesn't take the, the chains off the post. You know what I'm saying? I, yes, it does. I can't even wrap my head around that. That makes absolutely no sense to me. And luckily, your car keys were in your pocket this entire time. Yeah. And despite the fact you've been rolling around throughout the entire upstairs and the basement, your keys ended up in the basement right next to the window? How convenient. Why the fuck did you have your keys in the pocket in the first place? Why'd you have your keys in your pocket, bro? <laughs> it must be fake. You had your keys in your pocket. Who the fuck has their keys in the pocket? Bro, are you fucked, bro? These are my keys, bro, for my car. Okay? I used to have this, like, keychain. It was long. And I would stick that into my pants. Like this. And this, this little token, the key would dangle out of my pocket like this. All right, and I have the keychain all the way in and they would just dangle there. And this is like a remote. I don't need to start my car. It's just like, uh, it senses that the car, the keys are in the car and I can start it. So I just, anytime I just wanna walk to my car, I can go turn it on. If this is near the car, I can open the door if it's locked. So I just kept it in my pocket the whole time, all the time, bro. I don't know. Why do I got to explain why I have my car keys on? All right. And I had a big ass uh, keychain thing. So that thing was in my pants, bro. So I'm getting thrown around upstairs. My keys are in my, car, my, my pocket the whole time. When I'm in the basement, I try to escape the, the third time before I got knocked out the third time. And when I got flung to the freaking ground, my, my keys finally flung out to the corner of the room, bro. I don't know, man, but they flew the fuck out of my pocket that then. Why didn't they fling out upstairs? I don't fucking know. It doesn't matter. They flew out there. When you were apparently just editing videos late at night, getting ready to go to bed. Why did you have- Dude, I don't go to bed at night, man. There you go, like all these assumptions, like, oh, who, who has their car keys in their pocket all the time? I do, bro. I do, man. I go to the gas station. I used to go ride around in my car, I, I, whatever. I don't, I don't have any food in my house. I, every meal I go, I go out to eat. I don't cook, okay? I, I go in the car a lot. It's the middle of the night, yeah? But I go out to eat, I go to McDonald's, I go whatever, I go to the corner store, get some water, Gatorade, whatever, man have your car keys with you at the time that's that's very odd not i don't have my car keys with me right now well, that's you buddy. I'm not, not anticipating on going somewhere you were editing a video as you said how why the fuck were you planning a, an escape route just in case you have like these back protocols in your head like just in case i get my ass beat i want to make sure i have my car keys nearby well now i do bro now i do i'm so mentally uh, fucked up from this whole shit bro i got fucking bear mace right here ready to go bro i don't move unless i got weapons near me man at all times dude i i bought a dog specifically because of this dude i i'm like fearful every day bro like and you have no you've never had such a uh, such a thing happen to you and this is fucked. This is actually crazy, bro. Crazy, dude.
there is a YouTuber boxing, it should be me and him, bro. And also, I want to make sure I have the loosest pants to slip off in case I'm... All right, well, let me ask you this. Penguins, who, who really wears the same white, dirty-ass t-shirt every fucking day? Wh which millionaire wears a dusty-ass Walmart fucking shirt every fucking day? Which millionaire doesn't know how to cut their fucking hair? It just doesn't happen. You know, millionaires, they wear Gucci every day. Why don't you, bro? You're, you're asking me the stupidest question. You're, you're, you're coming up with the most stupid theories ever. I'm me, you're you, bro, you do you. I do me, I, I live my life the way I live it. If I have my car keys in my pocket, who cares? Chain to a post. I just don't believe that at all. And also, why the fuck did they just leave you down there unsupervised while chained up if they weren't stealing from you? They were stealing from me, bro. I kept trying to escape. So they brought me down there. At first, they were going to bring me upstairs. Then they brought me down. They tied me up. And then they went all up to search for my fucking shit. To search in my house. Because I kept trying to escape over and over and over. That's why I got knocked out unconscious a million times. So they tied me up and then they all went to look for this Rolex and cash that I didn't have. They're asking me for Rolex and cash and I don't have any of them. They think I have it. That's why they're threatening to bash my head in with a sledgehammer. Bro, I don't have the Rolex. I wish I did so I could give it to them so they could leave. They did that so they go up, search my house because they couldn't find this thing that didn't exist in my house. The Rolex and cash. You said they took nothing from you, except for a pair of alligator shoes. So why did they leave you? If the whole purpose was to kill you, why did they just leave you chained up down there and then go upstairs? What did they do upstairs? Just jerk off in front of your one- No, they were looking through my shit for a Rolex and cash. They were screaming, where's the Rolex? Where's the cash from the second they got in my house? I kept, I kept trying to escape. There would be one guy on me holding me down, MMA. He would loosen up. I'd try to escape. That happened a couple times. They brought me in the basement, tied me up, and then they all went to look. What do you mean? What are they were doing? No, bro. They're trying to get in and out real quick. They went all up into up my room to search for shit. I don't have anything of value in my house, bro. I don't spend my money on stupid ass shit other than Pokemon. One million subscriber plaque? I don't get it. What? No, nothing of this story makes any sense. This is like really shitty programmed NPCs or just really shit fan fiction, which it definitely is. It I, definitely I just, is. I really cannot grasp the stupidity behind this story, nor how people could be so gullible to take it at face value and believe it. And another thing, to poke another hole, you said when you went to the police that they warned you not to do that. Why would they warn you not to go to the police? They, you said that they told you if you went to the police they'd come back for you. But yet this entire time you're saying they were going to kill you if you didn't escape. So why would they give you that warning if they were planning on killing you? That, that doesn't add up. I don't know, man. I don't know for a fact if they're trying to kill me or not. I, I wasn't trying to stick around to find out, man. He, he had the sledgehammer by my face and he said, bro, if you go by the police or I, I forget if I was chained up at this point or I was had the sledgehammer on my face. It was a year and a half ago. But at some point he says, bro, if you go to the police, I'm going to come and kill you. And then they went upstairs to search my shit and I was chained up. I fucking dipped. I got out and I dipped. I didn't stick around. I don't know if they're gonna come back down and kill me because they couldn't find a Rolex in cash. I didn't have that. I didn't know if they're gonna come back down here, get upset that I, and think I was lying that I didn't have that and kill me because they thought I was lying and not telling them where the cash or Rolex is. I don't know, man. I don't know. But that's what he said to me, man. I'm telling everything I said in that video is a fact. A fact. And if it sounds stupid, it sounds stupid. That's just what happened. They wouldn't say, look, we're going to kill you, but if you go to the police, we'll come back and kill you again. They can't kill you twice. That math doesn't add up. So this whole story doesn't fucking add up. Oh, it's so unbelievably dumb. It's so fucking dumb. It's obviously just there to get some sympathy out of whatever injury you sustained, or maybe you didn't even sustain an injury. Maybe it is just makeup, and you're just getting views out of it and getting sympathy. All right, so I'm going to search in my email, Ottawa Police. And look at this, a guy named Kilby Mark. I'm gonna blur these guys' faces because these are who were possible suspects that I thought it was, but they didn't, the police didn't look into it enough. I don't know what happened, bro, but they never found out nothing. They didn't email me anything back to tell me what exactly happened or who they were looking into, nothing. They didn't, 
So I don't know if this is an ongoing case still or not. But basically, I'm going to blur their face because they're probably, they're not, they're not proven um, guilty. So I don't want to tell them, but this is who I thought did it. So I said, this is my email I sent to him. And I said, here is another picture from blank Instagram. I'm not sure if this vehicle matches the description, but in case it does, here it is. The license plate number is something like blank, okay? Because the police told me that they caught, like one of my neighbors had uh, some webcam or some security footage that showed the vehicle, them parking the vehicle somewhere behind my house and walking up from behind my house into the inside of my house. So they had the vehicle that they used to do it and some people that i suspected did it had a vehicle that looked really similar so i emailed the police this information kilby mark okay remember that name so here's these pictures these are just like close-up pictures and he said got it it is on instagram it shows he follows me that's why it says follow back on the first picture he needs to follow him and he has to accept it to be able to see his pictures though so his instagram if you search blank you will find him and then kilby mark said what social media is this from and then i guess he figured it out and he said got them thanks okay so his name is kilby mark all right mark kilby robbery unit ottawa police service okay that's the robbery unit all right listen all right and a, another thing my old friend wesley killingsworth who used to do videos with me made a video about when he stopped working for me after i got robbed i didn't have my phone i couldn't call the police so i drove to his freaking house man when i got out through the window i got in my car i could barely see my vision was gone on one eye i couldn't even see i was blind it eventually came back in like an hour or something slowly i drove to his freaking house bro he let me use his phone to call the police and he says it on this video what really happened with jay station i was there for him through the hard times when he got broken into and robbed, um, he came here, he came to my house. And there you go. I, I did go to his house, bro. I used his phone to call the police because my, just like my keys flew out, my phone flew out upstairs though. My keys stayed with me until I was downstairs before they fell out of my pocket, bro. Okay, now listen, you could have called like Muda did. Muda called the, the police and to see if what I was saying was true when I did my girlfriend video. You didn't do that. You just made up some bullshit saying that I lied when I didn't, man, and that's defamation. So remove that video, issue a, an, an apology, and then, we look, man, you made six and a half million views. How much, how much money is that? That's minimum what you owe me, bro, okay? Do this shit, fix this shit. You've attacked me on many occasions, and it's bullshit, man, it's bullshit, okay? I'm tired of this shit because I, I, to this day, I still get people doing this. The most traumatic thing that's ever happened to me. And all of this six million people, he's just made it a million times worse. And it's affected me in such a, a negative way. And I still get comments to this day. I can't even, it, it, I'm, I'm shaking making this video. I'm so upset. Anyways, peace.